Hey, it's Brian G. Johnson, author of the book Trust Funnel. And today, as I got started on my Monday, I wanted to share some ideas that would perhaps help other authors with book sales, right? That's what we all want is to be able to impact people with our message, to be able to reach people and share our, uh, our natural gifts with the world. Now, I uh, finished up my manuscript probably about six weeks ago or so, and now I'm in the planning phases of releasing my book. I should be getting physical copies in the coming days. I'll probably make a one or two revisions um, after I get physical copies back, and I'll plan out a, a launch date where the book hits bookstores. So what am I doing right now to grow my audience and get started? The one thing I want to share with you that you don't want to do is to wait, is to think, well, I'll get started as soon as my book is available. Why? Why, get, why put something off that you can jump on today? In fact, what I'm doing is I'm going through my PDF version of Trust Funnel, and I'm looking at my table of contents. Now, my book is in a nonfiction book about web marketing, and I'm going through every uh, chapter okay in the index and I'm just looking at the table of contents and I'm making these awesome graphics that you can make and then you can post these to social sites right you can go on Facebook in fact let's just jump on Facebook right now and let me show you what I'm doing I I, I was I was getting started with this today um, and I thought well I think I'm gonna make some of these promotional graphics and let's go here and see what we've got going on okay so here's a post I made you can see I'm getting some some comments. I'm going to go to my wall and just kind of show you what it looks like. Okay, so there's someone saying I'm awesome, so that's nice. And it's basically, you know, I've been really active on social media and it's having a, a big impact. And one of the things I do is just share and connect with people. It's not about pushing out messages or selling. It's just about sharing information, sharing my story, sharing how I got here, sharing how I've used social media, uh, Facebook, YouTube, Google, blogs to drive traffic and make money. So now I'm creating these snazzy little graphics that contain uh, basic, basic messages um, about my book. Let's take a look at one of them right now. Okay, so I've got a million screens open right here. I think you can see this. So, wielding the power of perception. So, here you can see an awesome uh, photograph that I had professionally taken, and that's something that I would recommend. And let me just kind of uh, move these, this around a little bit. Um, so I'm making these graphics right now and here you can see another one the power of formulas rituals and blueprints and this tactic is is really easy to pull off and you can use these graphics in your YouTube videos um, you can use them as a still image before your video begins right you can add that to YouTube you can use these images like I said on Facebook on Twitter you can use these in a blog post and they look awesome so how did I do it well, first off, since I knew I was going to be publishing, I went and spent some money and had some professional images taken. And you know what? For a hundred bucks, or maybe you know, 150 bucks, you can get in a studio with an amateur uh, photographer or maybe a college student that's into photography, and you can get into a studio and take great-looking images. Um, and that's going to separate you from the crowd. You know, look the part. If you want to be a New York Times best-selling author, then look the part. So I went in and I had all these images created. And you can see here, I'm in a, in a, a website called Canva. Now, it's completely free to use. And I can um, upload these images I've taken. So here's a silly one. Here's another silly one. Um, here's one of me and my dog, Otis. You can see I just pulled that in. I'm going to delete that. And I can use all these images, and then I can even, I've got my uh, JPEG version of my book cover. I can pull this in, you can see right here, right? I can scale it. It's super easy to use, this website, Canva. It's free, and then I can add text, you can see right here. So what I'm doing is, you can't see this, but I've literally, I've probably made 30 of these different types of images. Let me show you another one. Um, 
anchor method. This is something that I teach, the anchor method. And it's kind of a funny picture of me. I'm pointing at my book, and that's going to grab attention. And uh, one of the things you want to do is you want to use every advantage possible in your marketing. When it comes to social media, nothing grabs attention, nothing drives engagement better than images. So why not create the best images you possibly can to frame your book and then use that to send out messages about your book as it's coming out. This will create interest, intrigue, people want to learn more and as you begin to share, teach and educate people it's going to be a natural decision of theirs to want to buy your book when it comes out. You're going to sell more books and that's why I wanted to share this video with you right now. Just kind of off the hook, not feeling great, a little sick but uh, thank goodness back to work, excited to work, and I hope you found this message to be helpful. Hey, Brian G. Johnson, author of the book Trust Funnel, and if you want to learn more of these tactics and strategies to totally dominate on social media, buy the book Trust Funnel. Cheers!